Does anyone want to show you how you can uh, replace your um, replace the uh, keyboard on your um, Asus ZenBook? So it'll, it'll be this one here. Place that keyboard on your Asus ZenBook. Um, pretty much the UB uh, series. So uh, sorry, UX four three one F. This is the particular one that I'm doing. Um, so first of all, you're going to need to take these screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, using a Torx 5 T5 screwdriver. So let's do that first. Let's do <coughs> three. That's seven. Okay. So now let's try and take the cover off. So for that, I just use a bachelor tool or like an old card or credit card something like that will be a safer option because there's more uh it's more forgiveness in the card in a plastic card it can always bend and flex There we go, I've got something underneath that one. Just pull upwards after you took the screw out. Uh, after you've got the lid up. Now you want to have to do is um you're gonna have to remove all these components here first, unfortunately. Because you want to get hold of what I want to do is I want to get hold of the uh, the part number of the keyboard. Because the variations right of keyboards, so so um, and after, that's what I always do. You can actually put the model number in, do it that way, but it's not going to give you an accurate. Sometimes because if your computer or parts of your computer is quite rare, which I, which I found with this one, then you're going to have to take it apart to get hold of the part number, which is what I'm doing now. So, um, so yeah, so I'm just going to get a, a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to get all these screws out here. Um, first of all, I'm going to take out the battery. So this is the battery here. To do that, I'm going to have to um, slide this thing, the metal clip. If you can slide this metal clip, try and zoom in here. Move it towards you. Depending on kind of where, where, which way the computer is. Um, towards you or away from you and then you want to uh, unclip this thing here like that and that's that's that and then you just take the screws out so we're going to take the battery out now first of all
So that's that, and then took those screws out. So <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Got a bit of fluff from somewhere from this or somewhere. So that's five screws on there that's taken out. Um, so now we can actually see the I can actually see the code number over here. This code number here is the code number for the keyboard. So that would be pretty useful for me trying to find a replacement keyboard. I can just type uh, one of the three numbers, code numbers over here, into eBay or Amazon or anything like that. Okay then, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going um, to go ahead and take all of the components off. So uh, let's do this. I'll start off with the, um, obviously the fan and then the uh, the main board. Let's do that now. So I want to do unclip the uh, keyboard first. Got to pull the backlight. Very tiny backlight there. Um, get my spatula tool. Top that underneath the lid, the clip, and then lift up. that one I just basically just push it out like that. that's it I'll start it and then um, pull it out rather then you want to take the fans out Get the fan out and then uh, take the motherboard out. I'm gonna take this uh, screws out. Well, here's here's the main board. So, one, two, three, four on the drive, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, so uh, quite a few screws there. So, let's take all the now, take all the black screws out and the Wi Fi card as well. And um, that's no doubt holding it, holding that down. So, um Go ahead with that. So now these small screws go onto the each screw holder is labeled M two dot two. So the, those are the very small ones there. So make sure you keep those separate or keep a, be aware of where those go. M2.4 times four, sorry, the slightly bigger ones. as well. Wi-Fi card. I think that's going inside the board though, is it? Going through the board, sorry. Um, take this one out. Right then, so when um, so let's take that um, let's take that out, sorry, yes there. And take out the power cable. Well actually you can just leave that over here and really don't have to take that out. The power cable, so um 
I'm trying to keep disconnected as little things as possible. Oh. Maybe not. The screws aren't big and aren't long enough to go through. Let's um, see if we can actually wiggle this one out. That's not going through, is it? That's not going through the board um, into the chassis. So, um, try and yank this one out. Let's take this cable out, the uh, board cable over here that attaches it to that card, make it easier. There you go, I think I've got some play here. Try and um, shift it out of the ports here. Trying to move the board out so that, pull away the board so that it's outside of the port, so outside of the chassis over here. That's usually the most trickiest part. Um, and also that's uh, remove the uh, display cable. Remove the uh, touchback cable. Still having problems getting this one out. Uh, can't see the screws attached, but um, we can loosen the screw on the hinge. Hinge screws, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to get some bit of play here now. I'm trying to... Uh, wait, there we go. Taking that off now then. So I've got the board. Take it, taking the board out. Take the card out like that. The wireless card. Place it on there. Right, now this is the keyboard, isn't it? This is the keyboard uh, case here. Um... So now what I want to do now is take out this board here, pull the USB microphone and SD card board, I'm going to keep these screws separate, they're here. Again, take the hinge screw out. Fan power cable to remove that, that's it, makes it easier. Uh, take that sticker out. 
uh, take up this cable here uh, unclip the uh, the lip here now actually you need to pull it out actually I think someone gets pulled out maybe just don't even do that maybe just uh, Looser, make the lid hinges looser. See, it's a bit more relaxed now, so uh, Same thing as before, it's got stuck at the, the, the corner again, bottom corner. Um, so on this board here, as you can see, there is some sort of... Um, see there there's some sort of um metal prong or that the board has to that the board's connected to so you have to get a board over that prong here for it to uh, be loosened up so as you can see there's um i don't know if you can see clearly it's a metal prong that has to be lifted over so that the board can um, come away this so I'm just lifting up now and it's coming over I think it's quite difficult this one is actually so after much after, but after much deliberation all I had to do was move this there uh, open the lid and it would uh, open up the uh, separate the hinge from there so uh, I've just took the screws off so that was and that allowed me to lift up the board away from that pin there uh, the spike that you have to get um, where the board was attached to uh, so yeah so um, that's how you do you take the screws off and then open up the lid and then it would uh, separate the hinge from from this and you can lift it over uh, so that's that taken out now um I have to do now is somehow try and uh, remove these metal plates That's another one done. That sounds like a nice, easy one. So you've got to like improvise. You have a tool spatch on the tool and just try and put, put a little bit of pressure and see where that takes you and then possibly put a bit more pressure and then then you know where you stand then, so to speak. So uh, that's that one. I've got that one out. Got that one out. Um, so again, that's all right. Uh, now on this side now, uh, see what I can do here. You can put a bit of pressure underneath. On this side. All 
What I'm going to have to do is take the screws out of this, this left hinge. Um, put them over here by the others. Because this the hinges go over the metal plate and you need to take the metal plate off in order to replace the keyboard. So I'm just going to... Uh, Open up, that's it, all right. So, uh, just have to take it out. I'm going to take out this one, that's it. Make sure there's something over your eyes when you're doing this. I'm not enough to wear glasses anyway, so that's that one done. So obviously you want to take the metal play out of this plastic, you know, uh, sewed, bolted plastic holes. That seems to be typical in all, all brand new laptops, very slim laptops nowadays. It's be often very easy to replace keyboards, but no more. So it's what you've got to put up with. I'm going to get it aside. That's it. That's it. It's almost there now. It's going to um, yeah, I'll move this. A few more in the middle here. One there. The ones in the middle, I'm just going to pop a finger over it. I'll see if I move them. Uh, that's more or less taken up, isn't it, really? Uh, let's see, there's any more? Yeah, that's it, that's taken off. Didn't need to take that speaker out then. Plate's almost removed now. Um, let's remove the plate from this side, I think, from underneath the hinge. Remove the display cable from the plate. Set. And remove it from underneath these studs here. So that's what I'm doing now. I have to go over the studs, the metal studs. So there's one more thing here, isn't there? That I haven't done, so I'm going to remove this one. That's it, well done. So, uh, yeah. That's it, that's removed now, so... Uh, Untangle the microphone speaker cables. That's it. So I'm going to move that plate. Now we're going to reuse this plate uh, when we can. Maybe that now. Oh, there's a lot, of, a lot of components. I'm trying to remove this uh, keyboard now. Let me do that. Again, I'm just putting my spatula tool underneath. I'm just releasing the uh, keyboard. Uh, 
evolved. Um, I'm not trying to bend it very much, I'm just going to put just about enough pressure on. Watch the screen underneath as well. Not a metal plastic um bits flying everywhere. That's the keyboard removed. Now then that's the keyboard. So keyboard. So I'm gonna um, get out my new keyboard. That's gonna be the new keyboard like that. Should do it. Should fit. So um, put that aside. Uh, my new keyboard is gonna go like this. So basically, uh, yeah. that's the adhesive there. What I have to do here is just put the uh, take the stick, uh, take the adhesive off now. Um, so take the adhesive off this, the back of this. This light, so obviously you got that's that's the, this is the backlight, the keyboard. So take the sticker off. Like that, and then this one, take that one off, and then just stick it down here like this. Oh, it's very sticky, obviously. And then you want to um, place this where it's over the hole, where it lines up with the holes. We go almost got it. Be very careful. So you want to line it up with the holes like you have here. There we go, it's pretty close enough. Not perfect, but it's um well, almost perfect. That's that done cut. So that's stuck down. So yeah, so you want to obviously align this um, back with the, uh, make sure that the um, power connector here on the back light is the same, points down the same way as the keyboard connector, so um, that's what you want to do. It's not done, so now I'm going to wear, put the uh, disc back on. Try and do with this action. We're trying um, put some sticky some tape on this. Uh, some but some double sided sticky tape where the uh, tags were. Shouldn't be too difficult, really. I don't think. So let's have a go at that. So um, in order to because obviously you cannot. Um, put back those plastic 
studs to keep it in place so uh, I'm going to put some double stick sided sticky tape on so let's do that but one thing what I've just done now is I've used this double sided tape it's about um, three three four millimeters wide and I've applied that here onto all of the holes it didn't take too long it's about five four or five minutes and applied it on all of the holes where I uh, where the plastic bits were perforated uh, actually I've got a few more to do over here um, that's what I've done basically not di not difficult at all so it's always handy to have some um, double-sided tape about about this for a while for you know because I do repairs obviously Sorted. So now what I'm going to do now is um, put out a few more. Put it here. So obviously I'm going to have to peel off this. Where you see it's white, that's where the uh, double-sided, the other side of the adhesive is. I have to peel those off. I don't know at what point I'm going to do that. Um, at some point so I'm just gonna like place that now inside where it was where, where I removed it so that was over here That was there. So I'm going to do now. I thought it was the other side. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to um, remove the uh, bits, the white paper, so to uh, expose the adhesive. I'm going to remove the paper. Here we go. Okay, so before you stick this down, what I just did was I um before I stuck the metal pad down, I plugged the best thing to do is to plug all the boards back on and test the um motherboard. Sorry, test the keyboard. Because last thing you might, what you want to do is put this on, uh, release all the paper from the adhesive and then it's stuck onto the keyboard and you have to return the keyboard and the backlight. So I just put all the components on now loosely and then tested it and all works fine. So that's that at least I know that's working. So what I do now is I'm gonna actually apply this. I'm going to put now put the metal thing now that I've tested the keyboards correct. I'm going to now permanently place the uh, metal plate, the adhesive stuck metal plate on the um, top of the keypad. So let's have a go at doing this. Remove all the cables from underneath, obviously. Uh, clear all the cables from underneath. Uh, ribbon cables, everything. That there, you just move, cable, move this touchpad cable from underneath here. Very easy to get the cables in the way. Um, be very, very mindful of the cables because if you're not, then you will definitely get them stuck underneath. Uh, I'm usually quite dozy anyway, so so yeah, that's that done. I think everything's stuck down in place.
you're going to drop plates now and um, make sure that there's any black um any black studs underneath that came that were clear from the from the metal plate make sure they are they come right through the holes as well like here for example and uh, make sure they come through so that the metal plate is flush against the um the back light of the keyboard um and it should be all right uh, but the whole thing will be compact anyway the motherboard and everything will be compact anyway so and that would help put it right through so yeah so put the motherboard back sorry um what would i do first yeah put the motherboard back sorry and then eventually put the screws back Motherboard gets placed here. I want to put the keyboard, plug the keyboard in on the back light. That was done. That was how keep that pressed. Once you've done that, so I'm pull the um, I'm gonna try and uh, lift that up. Actually, put the screws back in here. Actually, I think put some screws back into the uh, motherboard and two screws. So I'm gonna secure the screws into the board. So what do I want to do now? Actually. I'm going to put the hinges back on back into place. And two dot four, the larger screws. But not least the wireless card. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, <laughs> these hinges I'm going to do is I'm going to um, on a second I'm going to first of all for that I have to put the uh, in here like so Sorted. Put the um, motherboard cables next to this board to the motherboard. Put a 
and then touch two screw in. Like so. Do not full screw. It's one of these longer ones. Make sure you uh, put the Wi-Fi cables uh, around these, back around the brackets. Black one done. Uh, the best to do them separately, white and black, do them separately because it's a lot easier. Then they have to go over the, um, then they have to go over them. So over and down over. Like so. I'm going to do first actually put the, like I said before, I'm going to put the, the hinges on, um, screw the hinges in. So I'm going to do for that, I'm going to um, go like the so first, like this. Like that, so that allow me to line up the hinges. I'll press down a bit more, I think. Yep, so. Too much magnetic force on them, so we've got one in there, and uh, grab the other one. I don't know if you can see it like that. There you go. So, yeah, it's in now. Once you've got one in, it's a lot easier to do the next one. There you go. So, second. And third. Same on this side. Push this down a little bit more. So bring it up so that it's flush against the uh, this panel. There you go, amazing. So it's two more of these to put on, three in total. This one actually help the adhesive stick onto the board as well, I think. I'll see if that's done. Right now, what I do is um, put the rest of the screws in. So, this, uh, see if the mouse really fans in properly now. So, uh, Sorted, that's good.
Right, so now screw the, uh, the fan back in. The smaller one and two dot two for the um for this one here. This screw. There you go. And now so what I'm gonna do is um plug the rest of this stuff in. So the backlight put the backlight in, the keyboard backlight. Um, LCD cable the fan power cable and the speakers cable left and right speaker Let's put in. And then also the um make sure you wrap the cables properly under the hooks, to the under the grooves. Yeah, so what's left now, sorry. Uh, yeah, and also this cable here. Connects to this PCP board. That's it. Put on another hook there. Something like this. Put my M24 cable in here. Two four screw hole. Oh, yep, there we are here. Yep, screw out. Put it over here. Two dot times two one here. Need a bigger one. Touch path cable in. Uh, 
Okay then, so now let's put this in here. Um, let's take the screws off because that's where the battery goes over there. So. Put the battery, put the battery in, press that, it's in, turned on, that's it. These speakers are magnetic, so be careful. Just the screws in. Sorted. So I'm just putting the back cover on now. Um, that is I'm going to get everything calm. Uh, there we go, so now press hard. It's a funny one this one actually because they're very small slim computers uh, so a bit more um you know going to be a bit more careful and a bit more delicate with this with the uh with your you know with the dealing with the components etc so what i'm going to do now is going to um I'm going to screw these uh, screws in with the, end of the back case screws with the T, T5 screwdriver. So make sure that the keyboard's working fine as you can see. The, uh, Keyboard's all right, actually. It's not bad. Some one or two key. What I did, I actually put some adhesive as well in between these gaps here. Between these gaps over here, um, it was a nightmare. It was nothing short of a nightmare, but that's what you got to do. It just took ages, and I had to take the um, the wide stickers off the actual adhesive as well. The end. So yeah, the keyboard works fine. So um. I'm going to put the rest of the screws in and then uh, it's good to go. So, um, yeah. So, here's the rest of the screws. So I'm going to put the rest of the screws back into here now. This job took such a long time. I didn't actually record everything that I did, but because I just went back and I put some adhesive in between all the keys um, late last night, which I didn't show here. So it just took probably just took so long. I put adhesive on all of the more adhesive on the metal plate as well. Um, 
So next time I'll definitely be getting an all in one panel. There you go, all sorted now. So, um, let's make sure that it opens up and turns on again. Yep, there you go. And the keyboard works fine. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this has helped you a lot. Please like, subscribe, and keep posted for, um, for future videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's great thank you please like subscribe and comment uh, have a great great day and great week ahead thank you take care bye bye